Dr. T. Hunter Newsom is the founder and medical director of Newsom Eye, specializing in cataract and LASIK surgery and glaucoma. We are happy to welcome him back, along with a cataract patient from Sebring, Phyllis Risher, who has Newsome Eyes. Good morning. Good, Good morning. to see you again, Doctor. Good. Thanks for having us back. We love when you bring patients in and kind of hearing their stories because I think people can relate to that because certainly with eye care it can be a little overwhelming, maybe a little intimidating. But let's start, kind of explain what that Newsome Eye is and kind of what you are doing at your practice. Really. Well, a lot of, we do a lot of investigation of new lenses. Mm -hmm. um, and one of the lenses, the she has an HD lens, which is from a company locally here, Lens Tech, out of St. Petersburg. Oh, cool. Uh, we're the principal investigator. Uh, which is great for us to really mm -hmm. develop new technology with them. I put the same lens in my father's eyes. So I saw her back a week or two ago. She was at her one year visit and just described how well she was doing yeah. and really said, you know, put into words what it means when I hear patients say, I have new some eyes and I love it. So we brought her on to kind of give you her experience and let you ask her some questions yeah. and see what it was like. Well, and I do, I want to hear about the experience because we talk about this a lot of what it means to have new some eyes and that's from the whole, you know, starting from the beginning, kind of the process. Tell us a little bit about your story and when you knew to call. Well, I had cataracts mm -hmm. and I had been told they weren't ripe and uh, by the doctors in mm -hmm. Michigan. And uh, when I saw Dr. Newsom, he said, we can make you see. And I went, no way. So I scheduled my surgery. Mm -hmm. It was a great experience. It was pain-free. It was very quick. And I saw right after the surgery. Really? Yes. Huh. The most immediate thing I noticed was when I was wheeled into recovery. I could see the clock across the room. <laughs> I could see the faces of the nurses and wow. staff that were caring for me. And I was told to go home and, you know, kind of take it easy because I just had surgery. So we turned yeah. on the television. And my husband's always chiding me because we have regular television uh -huh. channels and HD channels. And he would say, why are you watching that in regular TV? We have HD. And I'd put it on the HD and I'd say, what's the difference? Oh. So I'm sitting here with my new eye, which is less than two hours old, and I'm watching the television and he said, you know, that's available in HD. And I went, okay. <laughs> so I put on HD and I, and I looked <laughs> and then I looked again and I went, whoa, no wonder people want to see an yes. HD. I'm like, I could see the colors, the sharpness, the clear. I just... I'm like blown away. Wow. I'm a person who's worn glasses since I was five years old. And so I've never seen the world without something on my face. Ugh. And I cannot describe to you uh, being able to ride my bicycle, which I love to do. I have a recumbent bike and I'm riding the bicycle. This is a week later and I'm riding my bicycle along near this lovely songbird singing up in the tree. And I look up and I'm about 80 feet up and there's this beautiful bird singing his song. I got goosebumps. You're I could see me the bird. I could My see goodness. the bird. And for me, the experience was life changing because I'm a person who's never seen yeah. without something on my face. Oh. Um, to wake up in the yeah. morning and see my husband of 48 years and actually see his loving face to wake in the night and look across the room and see what time it is. Yeah. You just cannot imagine. I can imagine, and I love this. We're out of time now, but I love your story. But what's cool, you even mentioned, she's from Michigan. You have you have patients traveling all over the country to come we, to you and your team. We do. I remember one patient that came in from South Tampa mm -hmm. and was upset to travel to Carrollwood, and she was complaining about an eight-mile yeah. drive coming north of Kennedy. Um, I don't know how lucky we had Yeah, it. exactly. So meanwhile, sitting next to her yeah. was this patient from France, didn't speak a lick of English who was having LASIK on the other side of her was a patient that flew yeah. in from Arizona to have surgery and she realized well maybe it's not so bad driving yeah. eight hours you know eight miles to see Dr. Newsom. Well thank you so much for bringing you are such a joy. Thank, thank you. you for thank you. In. Thank and, you. Uh, if you want to have Newsom eyes like man I, I think everybody does. <laughs> thank you so much and uh, there is the number to call and their locations there as well and we look forward to seeing you back doctor. Thank you so much. Thank you.